Mm-hmm. Hey, don't go yet. Yeah, recording. Oh, it's, it's, fine. it's fine. You can not see. Oh, official looking do not disturb. Yeah. else, because this is probably your last <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. All right, sweet. All right. So, uh, he's putting that up. He's going to close the door. Sweet. I'm going to do a sound little sync up thing real quick. So we are recording, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. we've been recording. So, cool. That'll be what's good. Okay. Okay, so this is Euro Sea Socks, uh, sitting here with the Living Tombstone. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you for coming in. I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very glad you're here as well. Surprise! It's great. Um, so, the dumbest question in the book for the Brony fandom, who are you and what do you do? Uh, well, you already said my name, so I don't need to say that twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm um, the Living Tombstone, and uh, what I do is that uh, I'm very well known around the Brony fandom as a guy who makes a lot of remixes and songs and music about the, the Brony fandom and the the MLP show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's right. what I do. Right on, right on. And you, you're kind of, uh, you stand out you know, from most of the Brony fandoms on a worldly stage just because you you're from Israel, right? Right, yeah. Awesome. So it's like it, it's always interesting whenever I see you it's like you know it's like oh it's Tombstone. It's really cool that he's here. And then like 2 minutes afterwards I'm like he doesn't live in the country. That's like, <laughs> it's like you flew in <laughs> Yeah, it's international travel just to be here. I mean, you're the globe trotting uh, musician out of like everybody. Like there's obviously uh, uh, Acoustic Brownie who come over from England and whatnot, mm, yeah. and then uh, Replacer came here from Australia. Yes, or New in Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't want to offend our Australian. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you, would you say when you make a punchy when you go? <laughs> oh, side note, we are unfiltered, so... Oh, yeah, you can say whatever you want. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's alright. Yeah, so I can fuck. say... Fuck! Yeah, fuck! Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot yeah, to say that for... It's uh, magic! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, you're an amazing musician. I know I listen to your music all the time, feverishly. Uh, <coughs> I think I absolutely love the uh, Vampire Bats remix you did. That was... Oh, thank you. Oh, God, I was just like, what am I listening to? And then it's like, it just drops into it. Like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> All right, so uh, back to the content of the actual show. Right. So uh, as I explained earlier, we uh, uh, pony reviews or uh, OC review show. So we like to talk about ponies and whatnot. Right. Now, <laughs> your OC is obviously as famous as you are, and uh, is very well known. Uh, it's been seen all over the place. I think the first time I really noticed your OC was in. Greetings. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll be... The sign. The sign. It says, "Do not disturb." <laughs> Original by Tombstone. <laughs> no, please come. You know, it's a cover that I just improvised lyrics on. I remember like on the original say. song that is based on, probably from Cats. Yeah. The musical. <laughs> anyway, right exclusive on. to Tombstone. Exclusive to Euro Sea Sucks. Tombstone pops out. Uh, exclusive to Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better with Kinex. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so what I was going to ask was yeah. the um, the first time I really noticed your OC was in uh, summer days uh, back in the day. Old days. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, no, my OC wasn't in the the the, the summer remix, right? The Jeff, the, the, the oh, the one where you're going. Oh, cool days, cool days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that song. Yeah, that and cool. I was just like noticing the pony. I was like that. That's a really cool pony. Like your your OC has that you know very uh, uh, muted uh, coat, the bright blue hair, and the right. red tips. Yeah. I thought that was really cool and interesting. And it was weird because there was a moment where I listened to your early stuff, like right when I got in the fandom, disappeared for a little bit. I was like, okay, great, whatever. And then I came back, and I'm like, wait a minute. That tombstone is the same one who did. It was this tombstone, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense now. I'm like, all right. Yeah, so I like, got to know, like, their usernames or something. Yeah. Oh <laughs> 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 my my bulldog. <laughs> Uh, no, so there's, yeah, favorite. and then I noticed that the uh, tombstone, oh, dude, that was popping out of the trees was on the back of the horse. I'm like, oh yeah, the same one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So normally I ask what kind of what what does cutie mark mean, but with you it's. What does the little tombstone do mean? Is that just like, hey, my name's Tombstone, so I do it's, it's more like, 
when I first came up with the name The Living Tombstone, uh, I, just, I just came up with it because I thought you know it would be cool to make like a fictional rock band based on an anime I was watching at the time, which was uh, uh, Black Lagoon. So nice. I just thought that's why it was also when I uh, met Marie. So she was like, I was like, I, I, I know that you did Gilda, but it's like the fact that you did. Like Revy from fucking Black Lagoon. Re- I was oh. so happy about that. Yes. I know uh, uh, Noah was flipping your shit about uh, being able to meet Marika at one yeah. point. Marika, sorry, that's her name. He said, I didn't know how to pronounce her name. This was a weird. She has a weird name. She was like, yeah. how do you pronounce yeah. it? Yeah. Marika. It's Marika. Yeah. Just call her Revy. Hey, no Revy. Revy, tell me to fuck off. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome if that happened. But no, she she was really nice, really nice, and it was fun to meet her for the first time and take a picture as well. Where was I? So. Oh, yeah. Black so I was um, after watching Black Lagoon. I was like, eh, this could be cool, like to come up with a weird rock, fictional rock band called The Living Tombstone. And I just stuck with the name. And at the time, I didn't know how to make like my own rock music. I just knew how to make electronic music. So I just said, eh, fuck it. I just come with The Living Tombstone. Just uh, use that name to make everything else. So um, and, and then started. And I just asked like a good friend who's an animator. She's very talented, and she she just finished. Uh, at that time, she finished like studying uh, art and stuff. So I asked her to make like the the logo for the Lego tombstone. It's just her, hey, just make a tombstone with arms and stuff. And she drew that, and, and 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 basically the whole point is that nothing in the process of naming or creating DLC was was like thought of in advance. It, it was everything on the spot. It's like, okay, that looks cool. That looks cool. Just roll with it because mm-hmm. I I honestly didn't want to. Uh, I, I guess from my point of view is that you know it's not necessarily the name or the OC that gives away what you do. It's more like what you do exactly. So if you make music, then fine, you make fucking music. Uh, your OC looks cool, but at least I know how to recognize you. But the music is what makes who you are, I think. And um, yeah, that's basically it. It's almost become uh, branding in a sense. Like yeah. It's like people know your great music. Oh. But then. I, I, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the OC itself. What happened is that at that time when I made my first songs, there, there was someone who PM'd me on YouTube. He, his name was Hellhoof, and he just told me, "Hey, I make a pony art." And was like, "Hey, that's pretty cool. You can, can you make maybe a pony OC? Because I see that one toaster has one, and and, and all of the other uh, bronies mm-hmm. also have one." So I said, "Yeah, well, I should have my own, I think." And uh, he, ma- he made mine. I just told him, can- "You can uh, just take it, make it gray, like the avatar, the original avatar with the tombstone and everything, and just add like blue and red hair as an as an inspiration from my rock band character I used to have. That used to have like the same type of yeah. colors. And, like, hey, we just had the same thing. It's, and and he made that, and and he made like four examples, and the one I picked was the one that we used until now. So, oh, right nice. on. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, Gotta be cool being him. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Being the guy that's like, oh yeah, uh, I designed the baby so 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 does that mean there are three dead tombstones? Oh. Yeah, technically. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the, the three other designs on me. I don't know if you remember if I have it, so those saved on my computer anymore. But if if I had, I probably posted maybe one day out of the blue on my Facebook page and just just let people see the legacy of what tombstones could have become. Design. Because there were like three other designs that looked cool, and the one that I just had like the most technically the nor- the most normal hairstyle. Uh, which looks also really cool and everything, and fit the uh, thing that it's a uh, pony and everything. Uh, so yeah, right. <laughs> that was the entire process of how the LC became to be what it is. Right on. It's almost become like uh, branding because people, like I said earlier, uh, they're, they're getting to know your awesome music, and it's like, okay, this is awesome music. And then whenever you put uh, your actual LC to it, like the good old days, yeah, uh, it's kind of like, okay, now it's something that I can kind of like visually represent it as. It's like just something that. Uh, you know, people can latch on to and, and even if they're... Colin. Oh, freaking A. Interviews, people. God, jeez. You're trying to be cool. Interview dance for me. Um, Just hit the side button. Thank you, Just hit the side button or something. Uh, oh, God. Word. I hope it's not like the interviews on like on time or something like that because I obviously it would... <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, just no, put no. it in a mute or something. There we go. Oh. Yeah. No, Stuff it. Put a sweater over it. <laughs> yeah, we'll chop it up and put it on. Put a sock on it. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have a sock. Uh, yeah. So, uh, your obviously uh, your OC is uh, supposed to be uh, connected to you, but is it meant to be more of a uh, pony sona like you in the Equestria world, or is it just a character that you've? It's just a character to identify with, and and nothing else. It's not supposed to be like a character I would imagine a question. I guess, I guess, maybe some of the they had changed when I first, you know, when we first came up with DLC. Is that I thought, hey, it could be a character in the in the um, in the show. But very quickly, I discovered that I I just thought about this is that it doesn't make sense that it could be 
me, this body is a pony sauna because you cannot make music with your hooves. Yeah. <laughs> it would be silly. Yeah. But but you know, some people say that it's uh, like some people making a C and making a C like saying, Hey, I'm a character in the equestria place and, and, and I can make music and it's like, No, I can't I'm just freaking if you have it, that is if you have like a magical you know, like if you're a unicorn then you yeah. finally can just move around stuff, but my character purposely didn't have any unicorn because it just it said it doesn't really matter. It's like it's not like a character that's supposed to make music. It's a person that's supposed to represent me, and not the other way around. Okay, sweet. So, I mean, you may have just answered this, but uh, have you ever thought about putting a little bit of story behind your character, or it's just like? Uh, and there was no story to begin with. It's just that it's it's based on the avatar that I used to have, and you know, it's kind of like based on. It's it, it, it yeah yeah it's just it is just the living tombstone yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just it yeah it's just a so he's his own like uh, brand in a way I guess. yeah yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's a more like a brand thing it's not supposed to do to represent anything else and uh, which is why in many cases when people my fans some sometimes take my OC and and and, and let's say ship it or do something <laughs> with it. Yeah. and like in spite of it's very cool and funny to see that it's just sometimes it's like. It's not what what the OC is supposed to be. It's not supposed to uh, be a character that's supposed to be living. Yeah. Um, that's a fun. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. But but yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be like in the sh in the show or world or something like that. It's supposed to be like as you said, it's like a brand thing. It's not supposed to do anything else. And when whenever people do something else than what I expected them to be, I I get like a bit like it's more like eh. But then again, I'm not. I'm not like pissed off. I mean, it's it's they can do whatever they want. It's like I own this character, like copyright wise or something. Yeah. I mean, besides, I mean, besides, someone else created it. It's not me created it. Yeah. It's own, I own it. Nice. Right on. Because I know that there's uh, obviously people love putting you and Mike together. There. Uh, <laughs> my uh, me and Mike, me and Glaze, me and Lowell at one point. I if, there's a, if there's a popular musician, they put you together. Yeah. Uh, there's one with Ben Pony, I remember. There's like a bunch of the people send me uh, weird ones. And, uh, <laughs> and, and sometimes I'm looking at them, it's like, ah, oh, it's funny, but it's like, yeah, whatever. They can do whatever they want. I, I, I just, I, I hope from. Just you know, just from seeing the picture, that hope they're not obsessed about that idea that they're yeah. they're together or something, and that would creep me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mike and Tomb are an idea. They, 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 they have to. No, they have just to. go away. It's just in my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to Tumblr. Yeah. <laughs> Ciscom. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite person. Social justice. <laughs> like, exactly. you know, most people on Tumblr, but that's a different discussion. Different, that's, that's for a different so time. what's your opinion <laughs> when you're a six sucks guy attacked by Tumblr? <laughs> yeah, you know, those people who just post shit on anonymously on my uh, ass box sometimes. But yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, anyway, that's um, a different yeah. story. Different story. Okay, so uh, <laughs> stupid question, but yeah. it's a question that everybody needs to ask. Who is best pony? Um, I think Rarity. Rarity. And I've been always on that boat for like since, since day one. I remember first time, uh, first time I watched the show on season one. I used to be a like, big fan of Fluttershy, I think, or Twelve Sparkle. But over time, that changed to Rarity because she she's very self obsessed. She she likes to make everything so she could feel prettier, and also she could be famous because she makes pretty stuff. And that's like uh, some kind of a weird obsession about something. Uh, but then again, she's also kind of like. She understands. She, she 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 likes to be generous because she understands that whatever she creates, it's despite that it's all fashion, it's it's not it's not something that she can always wear herself. I mean, it's something that she creates. She can make it for someone else, and that's the big gift that she can give to the world, and which is something that I appreciate and I respect. You know, people who make amazing things for the world, like let's say I make music. I know that not everyone needs to like my music or you know enjoy it for what it is, but because I put it out for free. You can do whatever you want with it. The same thing goes with Rarity. She doesn't ask for money if she makes a dress for someone. She just, you just do it. That's no. it. Yeah. That's she does the, the craft and everything. That's the point. I mean, like that one episode, she gave her friends five free dresses. Actually, ten because she made two. Yeah, because she was really obsessed about giving them what they wanted. And, yeah. and that's like the, the idea of what. Loving the craft is more important than just putting out stuff so people can appreciate what you do. So yeah. That's, right that's the most important thing. Right on. Yeah. Any other questions you guys may have? Or? I, I, like like Momofod, I've been following you since I like really joined the fandom and stuff like that. Yeah. And like recently, your remix of Discord hit ten million views. How does like how does it feel to like be somebody who like you started off just like any other brand musician, but to get like to reach this point of like being recognized and famous? I it's gotta be I don't know. It's 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 more like it's 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 kind of like 
not confusing. It's more like what's what's the word? It's kind of like being flummoxed a bit. It's like it's like, like it, it's it's more like really? It's, it's like, like you're like buffled. You like yeah. Me? B- buffled. Yeah, it's, it's it's just being a bit buffled because because sometimes because I'm fascinated when I see someone. Not I'm not saying about me. Like to say someone gets famous. It's like how did he get to be that way? And when I got there and I got to experience what fame means, I I'm missed something. I'm still like, w- w- how did it happen Wait, exactly? Because because. Because my music, because I know all the people that I'm jealous of, that they are fantastic musicians, and I don't know how to make some of their stuff that they're making. And I'm always like, how do they do that? And and some of the questions I have, for for, for example, is like, you know, I got famous, they didn't, and there I consider them much more talented than I am. So how how come they don't get enough fame? What are they doing wrong? And I did right, maybe by mistake. How did that happen? And some of the things that I kind of wondered is why Discord made 10 million views is because. Um, there's many factors to it that I nailed at, at the right time and, and the right place too, yeah. which is like making it one of the most famous characters in the, in the show, making it the one of the most well-known songs in the show before, uh, based on the show before you know I remixed it, and and and, and also one of them more well-known. So it's kind of like combining many things that, and I wasn't necessarily expecting that to explode because I remember I was making it on a whim, just like. Uh, three hours just made that because because no none of many instruments were involved in this <laughs> and I just said fuck it it's, it's done <laughs> and I, I released it on YouTube and and very quickly it just gathered a lot of followers and and it was also before I came to the the Bronicon, my first Bronicon convention which was Bronicon 2012 yeah. mm. that was my first time experiencing like fame or just any other kind of, oh no this is fame just being in a in a, in a convention with a lot of people who are uh, inspired and and obsessed or loving what what the show is about, and then coming to me and just loving what I do, and I didn't experience that before, and I was really overwhelmed and and also kind of like questioning myself how did uh, that all came to be like right there, and um, I, I guess it has to do with what what clicks for a lot of people when you make something that that kind of like clicks and it makes sense to people when you make something that's a bit more accessible than what you as a musician could appreciate. Mm-hmm. What happened? Uh, battery exhaustion. Oh, yeah. oh, we, we still have audio, so at least uh, for Most of the audio. Or we'll, there's going to be ROCs on the screen. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put something on the screen. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's just a weird thing, and uh, and, and, and and I'm just uh, and looking from the outside perspective to see what happened. But I became very one. So it was um, it's just a, it's just a weird thing, and, and and I'm like you. It's like I still wonder how did that happen. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, but it's really cool. I, I I love the fact, and you know, the fact that I gain a lot of money from it, uh, because I monetize all the songs that I upload on YouTube. The, those that actually can monetize, including the Discord remix. Me and uh, you, the, uh, uh, your uh, your big brony, we we share the profit from it. And and while I gain you know money from like, I I also have kind of like a job as a musician, and I actually get decent money, so I can like get my my own stuff and everything. He doesn't, and he's right now uh, in a bit of a on on a beat. So what I ha- what happens is that we share the profit. And every time that I give him like some of the profits, he thanks me a lot for like uh, for how much the the the, the, all, the fact that he's gotten so famous. Uh, it helps, you know, both of us, especially him, in that the, the, the part. So it's like I don't care he got famous, uh, uh, like the song, but I'm very happy that it helped, uh, especially him. Right. And everyone else who just yeah. just they want to become about that cool. Yeah, right. On. Sweet. So. Uh, we're being told that we're running low on time, so unfortunately, I think we're going to have to cut it right there. So, uh, yeah, I hopefully didn't talk too much. No, 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 Camera, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so uh, obviously, Living Tomb Sound, thank you yeah. for coming out. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and I gotta tell you, your OC, just like your music, does not suck. <laughs> thank you for coming out. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.